back to Matter, and welcome back to Let's Play Constantine. I knew I would find the book in the last place I wanted to look. The tallest point of the lowest pit. The naissance de demoniacs would be at the top of the highest building. Okay. We've got our plan then. Interesting. I should find a way down. Yes, that we, we know that. No way through. There's always a way through, Constantine. You just gotta think properly. I like how our tie is animated. That's not a comforting sign. The books are falling off the shelves. Sneaky bastard. Dude, this level is called the Crowley Memorial Library. Library? Quiet, please. I hope you count gunshots as quiet. Definitely know I'm here. Cart. Open sesame. Ooh, is this another uh, thingamajigger? Rune charm. Anyway, it increases our health. Flaming nails. Nice. Things just got more interesting. I'm not gonna pretend to understand how a flaming nail is possible, but nice. Oh, oh. 
get the card, I guess. I don't mind, I, I like the cards. Don't know what they do yet. Spellcasting. Eagle poor. Sit para. Eagle poor sit para. Ooh. Always a warm welcome in hell. Uh huh. How do I get over that? With the box you put there. Good. A water ampule. That'll get me out of hell fast. However, we moved this ahead of time, Let's so. Let's get uh, this over with. We outsmarted the puzzle. No! Demons! Flying ones! The ones that picked me up before. Demons, because we have our, our knuckle dusters, which makes that possible. Size of explosions. A primordial flamethrower. Dragon's breath. Oh, nice. Yes, we got a new weapon. I mean, we barely used Dragon's Breath in the last game in the uh, in the movie. 
movie. I'm gonna go back to my favorite weapon. If I'm not mistaken, we get a piece of our uh, big super weapon in this level too. Take more than that to stop me. Let's also get to the lowest point. Well, the fences are gone here, so may as well uh, get to the lowest point. So the bio reads made me a little wary of corpses, so I think shooting them is the best thing to do. Investigation and find something had really enjoyed itself up here. Help us. So it's a bit too late for that. That's obviously the way I'm supposed to go. How many more must die? Enough for you to start finishing your sentences, are you? Okay. Some more bombs. Pretty much full on ammo. There's a key. But there's also this corpse here, which I do not trust. I knew these would get me somewhere. Trust you. I'd be attacked by Bile Reese. It always happens. Looks like the party's come to me. Let's give him a bit of crucifier this time.
couldn't go any further without going to hell. Water. Go poor, sit pair up. And boom. Boom. Oh. Scavenger warrior. Nails are flaming now, aren't they? Nice. I go the fourth floor. Ooh, cutscene time. Oh, yes. Oh, it's a boss. Cool. Oh, you got bad breath. Kangor, I thought I could smell you. This place will take anyone, huh? You're not still upset with me, are you? Welcome to my life. This demon, this boss seems remarkably easy. Oh, that fire. Mainly just to shoot him in the head kind of deal. Ooh. Oh! Ouch, that's my face. Oh, killed him. Thank you. I don't know how much further down you can get than this dump, but I'm sure you can find it. Okay, so kill a giant hellworm. Grab this stuff. Stood to my yeah. A real page burner. The final shotgun Ooh. piece. Thanks. I'm gonna look at the new demons we've met and uh, our new weapons before doing anything else. So we have.
Dragon's Breath. The artifact is an ancient flamethrower containing liquid dragon fire from the dragon demon Kangor. Ah, the thing we just fought. Uh, the large flame that is fired from the weapon is most effective when used against demonic foes. And we got the Spear of Destiny. The Spearhead, also known as the Spear of Destiny, or the Sangha de Dio, is the weapon that delivered the final blow to Jesus during the crucifixion. Stained with his blood, this ancient artifact is imbued with the power beyond man's comprehension. What new demons? We got... The Scavenger Warrior. The warrior is the strongest and largest of the scavenger demons. Over time, they have become twisted and deformed. The warrior demon's skin has hardened to a shell, while their teeth and nails have sharpened and are able to rip through flesh. Seplavante. Se oh, Seplavite. These flying demons summon hell plasma, propelling it towards their victims. Seplavites will attempt a suicide dive into their opponents when nearing death. These demons are demonstrably vulnerable to the purger artifact, which you don't have yet. Post Vermin Demon. We fought the, that last episode. The Vermin Demon is a powerful entity summoned to Earth to find the Sunken de Dio. Its humanoid form is entirely comprised of living vermin that can break apart and reform when attacked. And Kangor. Kangor is the hell guardian of the Naissance de Demoniacs, or Birth of Evil. Made from thousands of tortured souls, Satan's pet dragon is a formidable foe. But now I think it's time to move on and try to finish this level. Eh, Kangor's back. Haha. Uh -huh. Better luck next time, Dragonhead. Oh, it's going to take a while, John. Of course. Oh, these guys never get straight to the point. And the spearhead? Any luck? None good, but I'll keep trying. I do have something I know you'll like. A tasty titbit. What, you finished my shotgun? Yeah. Hennessy found El Ryu's body. Ooh. You got an address? Or do I have to exercise it out of you? Uh -huh. He hasn't picked up since he gave me the info on El Ryu. I'm, I'm a little concerned. I'll look into it. But first I want to look into Thomas El Ryu. You hear from Hennessy, tell him to meet me at this... P&G Mortuary. As for Mr. El Ryu, that dead half-breed and I are going to have a little conversation, eye to eye. Okay, so as soon as we get a checkpoint, we'll close off this video. Ooh, phone <coughs> booth. I remember those. Beeman. Yeah, nothing from Hennessy? All right, I'm at the meat locker. Going in. This game's cutscenes look really nice. Los Angeles Police Department. Ah, oh, crap. Can't we just skip the foreplay? Not tonight. Not, not tonight, Constantine. Not tonight. Well, that's about what I expected. Good. Someone's home. Good reaction. So, I think we, we have some more weapons now. We have a holy shotgun. Okay. First, we're going to see what the description of the holy shotgun. A very powerful medium-range weapon that fires pleasant shells. This weapon was created in the 15th century by an Italian sculptor and a Roman Catholic priest to battle the force, forces of evil. This weapon is most deadly when used against half-breeds. And uh, we'll continue in the next video. Ciao. Hi. Thanks for watching. 
This has been played and recorded by me, Marek D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona, and you can find a link to her commission page in the description below. See you next time.